the time of twilight. Our golden sun brother turns and walks away down the darkening trail. The little night creatures murmur and chatter in the deep woods. Evening comes. Now is the time of fading light. The time when the moon goddess opens her eyelids and looks up from the misty south. O oh, Abba Miko, O oh, great earth father, hear us now. Hear the little sad voice of your children as we tread the long pathway of dreams. Be with us, O oh Abba Miko. Turn your quiet face toward our people, the children of the forest. tribes, the Alabama and the Kushata, who joined together and met the white invasion of the early 1800s without compromising their character. Two tribes who looked beyond the sundown of their time toward a broader world of universal brotherhood. They had been pushed out of Alabama into Mississippi, then into Louisiana, then across the Sabine River into the Kingdom of Mexico, where at last they found peace. Hidden away here in what we now call the Big Thicket, this woodland sanctuary between the Trinity and the Nueces Rivers. Now again there was blood on the trail. It was February of the fateful year, 1836. American settlers in the Mexican province of Texas, egged on by a few aspiring leaders and harried by Mexico's clumsy colonial policy, broke into open revolt. All of a sudden, it became important for both sides to know what the Indians would do. The Cherokee were a strong tribe, but perhaps the most impressive of all were the Alabama and the Cushata. Antonio Lopez de Santa Ana was now president of Mexico, while the Texans considered their military leader to be General Sam Houston. Both men had a message for the Indian tribes. I'm sending you men on a very important mission. The outcome of this conflict hangs in the balance. You will go to the Indian tribes in eastern Texas and demand that they fight on our side. Well, not exactly demand, of course, but make a very strong case. Do anything, say anything, but be sure that you get them on our side. Go first to the Cherokee. If you can't get them, be sure you get the Alabama and the Kushata. Is that clear? Any questions? Very well, you will leave at once.
messengers were not long in coming. But before they arrived, the warlord of the Cherokee came, hot and nervous and angry as usual. He had the strange name of the Bull.
Hardly anyone realized how suddenly desperate everything was. Each day a fresh rumor would come, telling of a horrible new battle between the white men. A week or so later, the Alabama once again called their neighbors to come quickly. The woods people had another visitor. Santa Ana was now at the Alamo. General Urea had already wiped out San Patricio and was attacking Agua Dulce, just five days southwest of here.
in the misty woodlands in that dim early week of March 1836. The Kushata did what their ancestors had done for generations before them. They danced to the gods, praying in rhythm and movement.